Welcome to Balance Journey. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that holds deep spiritual significance, the biblical importance of your name. Have you ever stopped to consider what your name really means? Is it just a label? Or could it carry divine purpose and authority? In this video, we'll explore eight transformative chapters that reveal how names in the Bible reflect God's character, symbolize identity and authority, and even hold the keys to generational blessings or curses. By the end, you might just discover that your name is a powerful part of your journey, woven into God's grand design for your life. So grab a seat and let's embark on this enlightening exploration together. 1. Your name is not an accident, it's divine purpose. Your name is much more than just a label or a convenient way for others to call your attention. From a biblical perspective, it holds deep significance and is often linked to a divine purpose. In the scriptures, names were not arbitrarily given. They were inspired by God and reflected his intentions for that person's life. Take the story of Abraham, whose original name was Abram. God changed it to Abraham, meaning father of many nations, as a declaration of his destiny to become the patriarch of a great multitude. Similarly, when Jesus renamed Simon to Peter, meaning rock, it was to signify his foundational role in establishing the early church. Names in the Bible often encapsulated the essence of a person's character or the mission they were to fulfill. They weren't just identifiers. They were blueprints of identity and purpose. This tells us that God takes names seriously. He chooses or allows them as a way of embedding hints about our unique calling and destiny. So, if you ever wonder whether your name was randomly picked, think again. It's likely that it carries a message or a spiritual nudge pointing you toward your God-given purpose. Recognizing this can help you embrace your identity and align yourself more closely with the divine plan that has been woven into your life. Names as a reflection of God's character and glory. Names in the Bible go beyond merely identifying people. They often reveal aspects of God's character and reflect His glory. Many names given to people, places, and even events carry deep spiritual significance, serving as reminders of God's attributes and actions. Take the name Emmanuel, which means God with us. It's not just a name, it's a powerful statement of God's presence among His people. Similarly, when the angel announced that Mary's child should be called Jesus, the name was chosen specifically to emphasize the Lord is salvation, highlighting Jesus' divine role as the Savior. This chapter will delve into how understanding the meanings of these biblical names can deepen our appreciation of God's nature. The different names of God found in Scripture, such as Jehovah Jireh, meaning the Lord will provide, or El Shaddai, God Almighty, each reveal unique facets of His character. When we, or places around us, bear names inspired by or reflecting these divine titles, it's as if we're carrying a piece of His character within us. Recognizing this can bring profound comfort. It reminds us that God's qualities are embedded not only in His names, but also in the names we carry. By reflecting on the spiritual meaning behind our names, we're invited to see ourselves as living testaments of God's nature and glory. This understanding can empower us to live in a way that honors Him, as each name can serve as a daily reminder of His enduring presence and the qualities He wishes to see reflected in our lives. Names as a Symbol of Identity and Authority in biblical times, a name was much more than just a label or form of identification. It symbolized identity, character, and even conveyed a sense of authority and purpose. To have a name meant to have a place, a role, and a reputation in society. One of the clearest examples of this is seen with Adam. God gave him the authority to name every living creature, and in doing so, Adam was exercising his God-given dominion over the earth. This act was a profound statement of his identity as a caretaker and steward of creation. Similarly, consider the story of Jacob. His name, which meant supplanter or deceiver, was changed by God to Israel, meaning he who wrestles with God. This name change didn't just signify a shift in character. It marked a moment of transformation, signaling Jacob's new identity and spiritual authority. 
He was no longer defined by his past actions but by his new, God-given mission. This chapter emphasizes that your name carries a spiritual weight. It's like a badge that reflects who you are and what you're called to be. When someone speaks your name, it's not merely to catch your attention. They're calling upon everything that your name symbolizes, your identity, your essence, and even your spiritual authority. Understanding the significance behind your name can inspire you to live up to your true potential, embracing the identity that God has crafted uniquely for you. It reminds us that we're not just who we think we are, but who God has called us to be. 4. Name Changes in the Bible – A Sign of Transformation Throughout the Bible, name changes are used to signify profound transformation and a shift in divine purpose. When God changes someone's name, it's much more than just a rebranding or a change in terminology. It marks a powerful spiritual rebirth, a declaration that the individual's destiny has been altered. One well-known example is Abram, whose name meant exalted father. When God established his covenant with him, promising that he would be the father of many nations, he renamed him Abraham, which means father of a multitude. This was a public declaration that Abraham's life and legacy were forever changed by God's promise. Similarly, Sarai, Abraham's wife, was renamed Sarah, meaning princess, as a sign that she would become the mother of nations. Then we see Jacob, whose name meant supplanter, transformed into Israel, meaning one who prevails with God, after his intense encounter and struggle with the angel. His new name represented his spiritual growth and the overcoming of his old self. In the New Testament, Saul's conversion led to a name change to Paul, symbolizing his radical transformation from a persecutor of Christians to one of Christ's most devoted apostles. This chapter delves into these transformative moments, revealing that God sometimes calls us into a new season by giving us a new name, even if it's metaphorical. This can signify that the old version of us is gone and a new, stronger identity is emerging, aligned more closely with His purpose. If you've ever felt like you're going through a season of immense change, it might be God's way of calling you to embrace a new identity, a new name, and a higher level of spiritual calling. The Power of Proclaiming Your name and prayer names are not just labels. They carry profound power, especially when proclaimed in prayer. In the Bible, we see numerous examples of names being spoken with authority, reflecting the deep spiritual essence they hold. One of the most powerful instances is when Moses asked God his name and God responded with, I am who I am, Exodus 3.14. This proclamation was more than a simple name. It was a declaration of God's eternal and unchanging nature, signifying His absolute authority over all creation. It's a reminder that when a name is proclaimed in alignment with God's will, it releases immense power. When we use our own names in prayer, we are, in a sense, making a divine proclamation. For instance, if your name means strength or light, incorporating that into your prayers aligns you with the spiritual essence of your name. You can say, I, name, am strong in the Lord and filled with His light, or I, name, am chosen for God's purpose. By calling yourself by name and making declarations, you reinforce your identity in Christ and the authority He has given you. This chapter explores how incorporating your name in prayer acts as a form of spiritual affirmation. It's not just about saying words. It's about acknowledging the identity and destiny God has spoken over you. When you call upon your name in prayer, it's like speaking life into your purpose and anchoring yourself in His promises. This practice can deepen your relationship with God, remind you of your divine calling, and affirm that you are uniquely positioned for His kingdom work. Names and Generational Blessings or Curses Your name might carry more than just personal significance. It could be linked to a broader spiritual heritage, encompassing generational blessings or even curses. Throughout the Bible, we see that names are often connected to family lineage and ancestral heritage, 
influencing the spiritual legacy passed down through generations. For example, King David's name was synonymous with a powerful covenant blessing that extended to his descendants, including Jesus himself. On the other hand, names like Jezebel became infamous, symbolizing idolatry and rebellion, and the negative impact of her actions echoed down her family line. Understanding this connection can provide valuable insight into the spiritual atmosphere surrounding your life. Are there certain patterns, behaviors, or blessings that seem to run in your family? It could be linked to the legacy of the names within your family history. However, it's important to remember that if your name bears a negative history or association, there's no need to feel trapped or worried. God has the power to redefine and restore any name. This chapter will guide you on how to spiritually assess your name's significance and address any generational patterns that need breaking. By praying over your name and declaring God's promises, you can choose to align your name with His purposes. You have the authority, through Christ, to release generational blessings and break any negative cycles attached to your name. This way, you're not just living out a personal destiny, you're also shaping a new spiritual legacy for the generations to come. The Hidden Meaning of Your Name Finding It Through Scripture your name might carry more meaning than you realize, and uncovering its hidden significance can open up a deeper understanding of your identity in God. Each name, whether found in the Bible or rooted in modern culture, often has a symbolic meaning that aligns with spiritual truths or virtues. Discovering what your name truly represents can serve as a powerful tool for embracing your God-given identity and purpose. This chapter will explore practical ways for you to research the biblical or spiritual roots of your own name. One method is to look up your name in Bible dictionaries, which can provide insight into how similar names were used in Scripture. Online name etymology resources can also help uncover the historical and linguistic origins of your name, revealing whether it symbolizes qualities like strength, faithfulness, wisdom, or compassion. For example, the name Daniel means God is my judge, which speaks to a life marked by integrity, wisdom, and unshakable faith in God's justice. Similarly, Deborah means bee, symbolizing diligence and leadership, as shown in the story of the prophetess Deborah in the Bible. Understanding these meanings can shift your perspective, allowing you to align your mindset and actions with the attributes your name represents. Taking time to uncover the hidden meaning of your name is like finding a divine fingerprint, one that God specifically chose for you. This newfound understanding can serve as a foundation for embracing your spiritual journey, giving you greater confidence in the person God created you to be. By reflecting on these insights, you can see yourself as God sees you and live out the virtues your name was meant to represent. Receiving a new name in eternity Receiving a new name in eternity is one of the most profound promises found in Scripture, signifying the culmination of our earthly journey and the beginning of an eternal identity in God's kingdom. In Revelation 2.17, Jesus declares, To the one who is victorious, I will give a white stone with a new name written on it, known only to the one who receives it. This passage carries immense significance, as it symbolizes not just a new name, but a deeper acknowledgement of who we have become through our faith and perseverance. But what does it mean to receive a new name from God? It represents a final transformation, a divine seal on your soul that tells your unique story, one that only you and God will truly understand. This name is more than just a title. It's a spiritual reflection of your journey, your trials, and your victories. It's a testament to your growth, faithfulness, and the personal relationship you have cultivated with the Lord. Imagine receiving a name that holds all the secrets of your heart, your struggles, and your triumphs, a name that encompasses the fullness of your identity in Christ. This future name will be God's way of affirming who you are in His eternal plan, a unique marker of your eternal place in His family. Knowing this promise can inspire us to live a life that honors God, 
striving to be worthy of the name that awaits us. It's a beautiful reminder that our journey on earth is preparing us for something far greater, an eternal identity that will be unveiled in God's perfect timing. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey through the biblical significance of your name. I hope you've discovered new insights that inspire you to embrace your unique identity and purpose in God's plan. Remember, your name is not just a label, it's a divine declaration of who you are meant to be. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Balance Journey for more uplifting content. Let's continue to explore and grow together on this path of faith and understanding. Until next time, stay blessed and keep seeking that balance in your journey.